Hello everyone, so we're going to look at phase 5a and we're looking at the A split E. We start looking at split digraphs. Now, let's have a look at split digraph. So split digraphs are where the E in a word, usually at the end, changes the vowel sound in the middle. And it will change it from its letter sound, as in A, to its letter name, which would be A. So let's put the sound buttons in sharp together. So, mmm, and we show that they're linked by doing an arch or a curve. The A is linked to the E to make that split digraph sound A instead of A. To make it mmm, A, K, mmm, A, K. Otherwise it would be mmm, A, K. Okay, so mmm, A, K, mmm, A, K. And it's the word make. Okay, let's try the next one. So don't forget to change this A into an A. Make the sounds for me. Sound is out. So, t, a, k, t, a, k, take. Okay, try it with the next one. I'll put the sound buttons in. You sound it out, make the sounds for me at home. You ready? There's three bonemes, three graphemes. What are they? Can you blend that word? B a, k, b a, k, bake, bake. Okay, associated with the bake. We're going to try and write some of these words down now. This is a picture of a cake. Don't forget it's A split E, so you need the K A K. So K A K. So three phonemes. Think about how to write down the word cake. Pause the video, write it down now. Okay, you've written it. So let's try and write it down. K A K. Cake. Okay, showing that split digraph there. This is one you might do in the garden if you've done some uh, cutting of your grass or you might sweep up some leaves. And this is a rake. R a k. Can you write down the word rake on your piece of paper? Pause the video, do that now. Rake. Okay, so the first sound. R a k. Rake. And there it is. There's your split digraph. Okay. And finally, this one, snake. Snake. Can you have a go at writing down your piece of paper at home? Write down the word snake for me. Snake. Pause the video, try that now. Okay, snake. So we've got the snake. And I'll just be able to squeeze in that E with this bit digraph. Snake. So although we can't hear that E, it's at the end changing that vowel sound. Now what you might want to do is if you ever see an A split C or another split diagram, you might want to put your hands on your head. Okay, so if you see it in your reading or in some writing or someone says one, you want to put your hands on your head to show that you've found it. Okay, and that's the split diagram. I know some people are very fond of doing that in year one. If you want to, there are some other activities in Phonics Play that you can also explore as well. Okay, good luck, have fun, see you soon.